Sup y'all, welcome back to the Brownie and Stoney. First things first, I just want to congratulate everyone that has been accepted to the class of 2024. Congratulations to all of you for making it to college. I'm so excited to meet all the future Seawolves that may be coming in. I know that many of y'all are waiting to dorm in college. And so for the next few videos, I'm probably going to be uploading more about college dorms and what Stony Book Dorms has to offer. And so we have my dorm first, H-Quad. More specifically, Benedict College, which is one of the three colleges in the H-Quad dorms. So let's get started. So the dorms here in H-Quad are what we call corridor-style dorms, which goes along with Mendelssohn Quad and Roosevelt Quad as well. The other kind are suites, which is what Kelly, Roth, and Taylor are. There are four wings. There are four wings that are available here in Benedict College. The AB section, which is right over here, and the DE section, which is right over here. If you're dorming here, it doesn't really matter which section you're a part of because you'll have access to both sides when you're dorming here. To access other sides, you just need to simply come up to the scanner and scan your Stony Brook ID, in which you can now open the doors and be on your way. Within each wing, there are two to three floors, and then you have a basement as well. Within each wing of a floor, it's either all male or all female. And for Benedict College, we also have one gender inclusive wing as well to accommodate for everyone else. This right here is wing B0. Wing B0 is the gender inclusive wing of Benedict College. As you can see, it has an all gender restroom, as well as a women's restroom and a men's restroom later down the road. Every wing has their very own recycle and trash room, so taking out the trash shouldn't be that big of a deal. Here in Benedict College, we have two water fountains that can be used by anyone for everyday life. We have the AB water fountain, which is located right near the center, and the DE section's water fountain is right over here. Benedict College also has their own indoor fitness center, and the fitness centers are pretty much open from Sunday to Friday, from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. and Saturdays from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. They're closed right now, but you can see the fitness center equipment that's in here. And there is a lot of stuff they have. Granted, it's not like the rec center's fitness center, but it makes do. It's pretty good. So now we're entering the main lounge of Benedict College. It's a very spacious place where we hold hall council meetings on Tuesdays at 10.30 p.m. till like whenever we have to finish. And here in the main lounge, students can pretty much just chill and study or play games or talk to other people and socialize. You can pretty much do anything you want here as long as you abide the rules. You can pretty much like sit around on these couches or you can even play table tennis right over here. There are a couple of whiteboards that are around here too. So if you want to study, then you can use those. Right across the main lounge, we also have the college office where you can meet up with your RAs and just like say hi to them and borrow stuff from them too. Oh, RA Alex is on duty. Next to the RA office, we also have the RHD office where you can even meet the one and only RHD Derek. Here from 11 p.m. till 3 a.m., the RSP people will be like sitting on these desks and asking for like ID to the desk monitor and then you can just like go on your way. It's pretty much like a safety program that Stony Brook has, but like it only is in effect like late at night or early in the morning. And there's one right here in the AB side and the DE side has their own like way over there. So for almost every floor at the end of the wing, each wing has their very own end lounge for each floor where students can pretty much study right over here or they can just chill around right over here. Alright. So this right here is a regular bathroom here in Stony Brook where we have 
four sinks here on one side and sinks on the other side, as well as showers for everyday use. Just to let you know, for corridor style dorms, these bathrooms are cleaned on a daily basis, whereas in suites, they're usually cleaned once a week. For the women's bathrooms, each door has their very own code lock in which you need the code in order to open the doors. This is not the case for male bathrooms. Going further down, you can see that the all gender restrooms are available here and right here too. The all gender bathrooms are also available here and here on the D&E wing. The great thing about these all gender bathrooms is, is that they also have a lock too, so no one from the outside can open. If you go downstairs to the A and B side, you'll be able to see the A B kitchen and laundry room as well. So here we have the A B side kitchen, which is fairly small, but it makes two. We have the oven, which is an electric stove oven, which has its own fan and all, as well as like, you know, an actual oven. Paper dispenser is like right over here. There are a lot of pots and pans that are available for everyone to use, but no need for that because I have my own. Of course, we have a sink, which the custodian will be cleaning very soon. And we have a microwave as well. At the very center of the basement, students can come downstairs and eat their meals next to the kitchen. Right here, right here, or right there. Next to the kitchen, we have the A and B size laundry room, which is very empty right now but it's pretty cool. The AMV side has eight washing machines that are available for use, as well as eight drying machines. Folding tables and sinks are also available for use, as well as a vending machine, which is another perk. The washing machines here look like this, where you can just pretty much put your clothes in here and then put in all uh, the detergent. Or they can be like these, where you can put your clothes in here and then just put the detergent in here. There's only one type of dryer right here, and it's basically this one, where you can just like stuff your clothes in here and pull this out to take off the lint, as so. If we go downstairs on the D and E side, then we can also see their own kitchen and laundry room as well. This right here is the kitchen to the D and E side, which has their own indoor dining hall as well as a larger kitchen for a larger space. They have an oven here, as well as two microwaves available. This right here is the laundry room for the D&E wing, which also has eight washing machines and eight dryers as well. This is their vending machine on this side of the wing as well. Just a heads up, laundry is like included with your housing price, so you can use the laundry rooms for whatever and whenever you like. Right over here is the computer room, where if you go through here, go down, and come into the computing center, you can use your ID and just go right in. And here, you can use any of these computers with your Stony Brook Net ID and Net ID password. Here's the printer, where you can use your Stony Brook ID card to just swipe and you can just print whatever you need. The computing center also has their own bathrooms right over here, though I question why we'd use them. And the computing center is open 24 seven, so be sure to use this. And now I'll be showing you what a regular dorm here looks like in Benedict College. 
So when you walk right in, you'll see that your room will pretty much look more like this. An empty bed with like no bed sheets, no pillow. You'll have your own table, which will have its own light right under here. You'll have your own table drawer right over here, as well as a chair. And the outlets are right over here. For the bed, the outlets are also right under the bed too. You'll also have your own wardrobe, so that's pretty cool. You also have a very tall cupboard that you can just like leave stuff right over here. And you have your own closet too. You can also use these racks as well to hang your towels or you can also use to hang your iron boards. Fire safety and each quad policy guidelines are also available behind your door. For the dorms here in Benoit College, you can either be in a double, which is the one that I'm in right now, or in a triple, where one of the beds here might be a bunk bed instead. The bunk beds don't have ladders for easy access, but you make do with what you got. These rooms are also pretty large. I think they're like 13 to 14 feet wide. This right here is my side of the room, which is pretty much furnished and can very well much be what yours will look like too. The closets here are also pretty big too. They have um, space for you to hang your clothes. You also have your cupboards as well. You also have enough space to um, put in shoes and laundry bags and whatever and you can just like come inside of the closet and change clothes and come right out too. For me, since I'm a New Yorker, I love having a New York kind of vibe and so I had like all of these like just laid out. Um, I also love plushies too, so I have my plushies and stuff right here. Down here is my storage space as well as my trash can. As you can see my desk is pretty much filled out with a lot of things as well as pictures of friends and everyone else back in high school. I really miss everyone. Right under here is my light which for mine is is like motion sensed. My roommate on the other hand has a different one where you have to twist the knob in order to turn on the lights. Here I have my own things as well. I have my name, um, a certificate that I earned, um, my oil diffuser, and my own fridge too. I also have my own ladle and wok as well because I love to cook and I pretty much need to for now. But if you're a freshman, you'll have an unlimited meal plan as well. It's just that during the winter semester, the meal swipes don't really work for now. So that's another story for another time. If you're walking outside of Benedict College, you'll see that we have a lot of tables that are available for everyone to just sit around and eat or just, you know, do whatever. Go even further down and you can see that we have bike stations where you can just like park your bikes. If you go further down the road, you can see that the Student Health Center is also very close. You can also see that while the student health center is really close by, so is the football stadium as well. So if you're a student athlete or part of band, then like each quad is pretty much an ideal place for you to stay in. If you're still here in the basement, you can also go outside. You can go outside of Benedict College and you'll be able to see the Benedict mail room. If you have any mail and if you live in H quad, then you have to come here. So if you're pretty much in Benedict, it's literally walking distance. And that's pretty much the end of the tour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that if you join H-Quad that Benedict College is your first choice. Maybe you might be able to see me around. If you have any other questions, be sure to in the comments section down below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know the vibes, turn the notification bell thingy, whatever you call that. And stay tuned for more videos of dorms. Peace.